Today's video is an unboxing, first impression, and review of the Urevo 2-in-1 foldable treadmill. It's currently available on Amazon for $329 with their $50 off coupon code. This treadmill is a direct replacement of their previous model, which I have reviewed on this channel. That's currently unavailable, so if you were interested in that model, perhaps you can consider this current version. I just received this treadmill in the mail today. It does advertise as coming fully assembled, so let's go ahead and open the box and see what's inside. Before we get started, I just want to mention that today's video is broken down into the following topic areas. So this is what the treadmill looks like once you remove the top of the box. Here we have the user manual. This treadmill weighs 57 pounds and it has a shift weight of 68 pounds. Now here is the treadmill when it's still in the plastic bag. Sure enough, after I removed all the packaging, the treadmill was fully assembled and ready to go. Now for a few details on this treadmill, this treadmill has a recommended max weight of 265 pounds. This is five pounds more than their previous model. It also has a 2.5 horsepower motor, the same as a previous model. You can run with speeds of up to 7.6 miles per hour with the frame up and walk on speeds up to 3.8 miles per hour with the frame down using the remote control feature. This treadmill has a 16.9 inch wide belt. It's composed of five layers. It has a LED display as well as a remote control to track your speed, distance, time, and calories. This treadmill also has a non-assembly and space-saving design. It arrives fully assembled and can be used directly after unboxing. The transportation wheels in the front allow for easy mobility and storage. When not in use, it can be tucked underneath a couch or a bed. So this is what the treadmill looks like once it's set up. I do have the handlebar fully raised. So in order for the treadmill to turn on, there is the power button right here. It's hard to show on camera, but it's literally right underneath here, and you'll switch that on. To reveal the controls, you just lift this portion right here, and here you'll have all the buttons. There are two shortcut buttons on this control panel. If you press three, it goes directly to speed 3.0. And likewise, if you press six, it goes directly to speed 6.0. There's also a little phone holder portion right here where I think you could also put a tablet. I'm not sure how the back would be supported. This bar isn't the most sturdy, but it is locked in place and like I wouldn't heavily lean on it or anything, but it is great for like maintaining your balance. On the bottom portion, we have the display right here. The last speed I did was 3.0. Haven't really burned any calories yet. Haven't done much time or distance. They have an area where you can lubricate the machine. It's something that I haven't seen on other treadmill models, but you would just pour it in here. And here is the remote control if you want to use it under the walking mode with the handlebars folded down. You would just control everything with this remote. So let's go ahead and turn it on. So this is how loud it sounds at a speed of 3.0. So now I'm going to demonstrate how the emergency brake works. Here I'm going to resume my workout. I was previously at a speed of 3.0. So this emergency brake doesn't have a portion where you would clip it onto your shirt. However, if you do need to stop, you just press this button right here. So after you push the emergency brake, this portion will dangle and the treadmill will not restart until you put this portion back up. Collapsing the handlebar is quite simple. It just takes two steps. So right now, since the handlebar is in its up position, this red portion is currently flipped to the off position. To turn it to the on position, meaning that you want to flip the handlebar down, you just flip it to the left, and you want to repeat this on both sides of the treadmill, and the bar will just easily collapse. So now that the handlebar is down, we also want to flip this red portion to the off position. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to control the treadmill using the remote. So as you can see, we have this nice, clean, hands-free setup. So first I'm gonna start by turning it on. 
and the default speed setting once again is 0.6. Every time I increase the speed, it goes up by 0.2. So let's go to a 2.5. So here we're at a 2.6. This is how loud the treadmill sounds and how fast I'm walking. So this is actually my first time using a treadmill without having a front bar portion. So to lift the handlebar, you wanna make sure the red switch is facing the left and the bar easily lifts up and you wanna lock it back into place. It does have a little bit of leeway if you were to shake it, but yeah, it does feel pretty sturdy. Sometimes you'll need to adjust the belt to make it more centered. To do that, you just use the included wrench right here and adjust it on the left and right side. One of the great features of this treadmill is its space-saving design. It's fully collapsible and it only has a height of 5.91 inches, meaning that your couch or bed needs to have a minimum clearance of 5.91 inches. Pulling out and setting up the treadmill just takes a few minutes, so it's extremely convenient. I don't find it too heavy as I'm maneuvering it from underneath the bed. Once again, it's only 57 pounds. So now I'm gonna talk about my experience on this treadmill. So it's currently 7.25 in the morning. I'm about to do a Peloton tread workout. So I'm opening the Peloton app on my phone. I'm gonna try a workout from the instructor, Maddie. It's Maddie, it's so good to see you on a Monday morning. Goes. Let's get started, baby. Hey. So to be honest, I would say I ran for about 15 minutes of it and walked the remainder five. For most of the run, I hovered around the speed of 5.0. For the walking portions, it was closer to like a 3.5. I would say as I was streaming the workout from my phone, it was a little bit hard to hear it, so I'd recommend using headphones. The noise level of the tread kind of muffles the workout and the music. That left heel all the way up to that left butt. So as always, you can rate your run. There's one thing I wanna mention with regards to the length of this treadmill. It's not the longest, so if you do find yourself getting a little bit tired and lagging, you don't want to slip towards the end portion right here, because I did catch myself a few times, so you kinda of wanna make sure you're centered or more towards the front of the treadmill. Overall, I would say if you're not used to running and it's not in your regular routine, this tread is more than satisfactory to get a good workout in. So now for a few pros on this model. The first pro is that it's affordable. Its price is slightly above $300. Another pro to this treadmill is that it comes fully assembled. You don't have to worry with screwing in any parts and making sure you're doing it correctly. It has a compact design that can be easily tucked underneath a bed or a couch when not in use. Also, this treadmill is easy to move by yourself using the front wheels. For a few cons on this product, the first con would be that there is no incline function, however that is typical of most treadmills of this price and quality. Another con is if you're going to use this treadmill daily, you may want to invest in something a little bit more heavy duty. However, if you have a budget constraint or you're not sure how regular you're going to be on this piece of equipment, this may be a good option for you. So how does this treadmill compare to its previous model? The belt on this treadmill is half an inch wider and also 3.5 inches shorter. The max speed is now 7.6 miles per hour versus 7.456. This treadmill can be used with the frame down and the remote control. The previous model didn't have that option. So anyways, that should do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like this video and subscribe if you're not already. Comment down below, what are your thoughts on this treadmill? Do you feel like it's worth the money or would you rather invest in something a little bit more? With that being said, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.